So I've been exclusively skating rubber grip tape for the past year and a half, which is kind of crazy to me. I thought rubber grip tape would just kind of be like this one, two month thing, but it stuck with me. I liked it. I liked how it saved my shoes, but it's about time that I go back and test out what real grip tape actually feels like. So in my last skate session, this happened. My board is snapped. So I figured it was time, obviously, to set up a new board. Another reason for this is I have like 20 something sheets of Jessup grip tape sitting in the bottom of my storage closet that I need to get rid of. So for me, this is just going to be an experiment. If I start skating better with this grip tape, then I'm just gonna keep using it. Sometimes I feel like the rubber grip is holding me back because sometimes I do think it's a little slippery. Like I was out street skating the other day and I, I was trying to do a front tail and I kept my front foot kept slipping off the board and I feel like I won't have those same issues if I use standard grip tape. So for the setup, I've got John Hill's Pro Model and then all my trucks and wheels are the same from my last setup video. So if you're interested in that, I'll have it linked down in the description. So the game plan for today is to obviously first set this up with the sandpaper grip tape. I wanna stay here at my apartment and just skate some flat ground, just try out all the normal tricks that I am most good at on flat and kind of compare the difference and feel between the rubber grip tape and the now the sandpaper grip tape. Once I'm feeling comfortable on it and I've broken the board in just a little bit, we'll head to the skate park and then we'll do the exact same process. And it should be different. It should feel different. The board should feel a lot more grippy for me. Uh, who knows? Maybe I'll love it and I'll stay on it. But if I feel like it's not making much of a difference, I, I might switch back. But who knows, this is just an experiment, so uh, let's set this up and let's go skate. So after one kickflip, it already took off like a lot of this rubber. And it wasn't even a real kickflip because I messed it up because it was so grippy and I'm not used to it anymore. So that's insane. I have a feeling this is gonna take a long time to get used to. All right, let's try another kickflip. So I can't lie, um, my soul was hurting right now because I spent $100 on these shoes. They are the Nike SB Ashad Wears, and I know within the week of coming back to skating normal grip tape, these things are going to be shredded. So I don't know if this experiment is even worth it at this point, just because I love saving my shoes. I hate buying shoes all the time. So I think this is just gonna be a one and done. For me right now, after using rubber grip tape for so long, I can't justify shredding these shoes so quickly. I'll just ride out this board for the next month until it dies. I'll skate the Nike SB Ashad wears, and then I guess I'll get a new pair of shoes and switch back to rubber grip. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I did a couple kick flips. Now I just kind of want to head to the skate park and try all my other tricks, do some grinds, things like that, skate the stairs, and see if I'm able to do any of my other stuff. Let's go.
was just about to start skating the hip and my shoelace has already ripped on the shoes and this is the first skate session in uh, the standard grip tape. So already a lot of negatives switching back to uh, the normal grip tape. I think I can manage to somehow rig this out to work and I do have a ton of spare shoelaces at home because most skate shoes come with an extra pair. But for now, I'm just gonna have to find a way to rig this up. But this is pretty disappointing. Uh, first skate session with this already destroyed a shoelace. But I will say I had a really good ledge and rail session over here. Most of my tricks felt normal. I did a tray flip on flat, that felt great. And again, I'm about to head over to the hip to see if all my flip tricks translate over as well. So. Let's fix my shoelace and then we'll head over to the hip. So we're back home after the skate session and some quick final thoughts about switching back to the sandpaper grip tape. I mentioned this while I was at the park, but already there is a ton of damage to my shoe. And like I said at the very beginning of this video when I tried them out for the first time, uh, this just kind of hurts my soul a little bit. I spent $100 on these shoes, on these uh, Nike SB Ashad wears, and already they're starting to get really ripped and shredded after one skate session. I was only skating for about two hours and there's just so much damage already happening on this shoe. That alone is probably gonna make me wanna switch back to rubber grip. I'm going to continue skating this board for the entire board's life cycle with these shoes for as long as possible, but as soon as I buy my next pair of shoes, I am almost certain I'm gonna switch back to rubber grip tape just for the purpose of saving my shoes and making them last as long as possible and really getting my money's worth out of my skate shoes, especially if they're expensive like these Nikes. A huge benefit to the sandpaper grip is that skate parks are typically pretty dusty and usually the longer I'm at the skate park, the more slippery my board gets with the rubber grip, but this time that wasn't an issue. I was also able to do almost all my normal tricks. I did a back tail, which is a brand new trick for me. I was able to do that just fine with this. I did all my hip tricks, all my ledge tricks, I even skated the stairs today, and everything felt pretty normal. The first couple kick flips here on flat at my apartment were definitely pretty rough things were getting weird but the longer I skated with it the easier it was to get used to and uh, I really started to get accustomed to the grip tape so that's pretty much it so for the foreseeable future while I'm riding this board and while I have these shoes I'm gonna be skating sandpaper grip tape who knows how long this is going to last the board might break in two weeks and then I might start switching back again but for now this is what I've got locked in and we're gonna see how it skates and how it affects my skating over the next couple weeks or so if you like this video please hit the like button because it helps me out a ton it helps push this video out to other people and if you like me you want to see more of my videos hit that subscribe button because I upload every Friday at 8 p.m. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.